So here we are, we being JJ and I, we're up here on, uh, in the White Mountains, climbing uh, Mount Wombach. It's um, north of the majority of the White Mountains and it's called the Pilot Range. It's one, one of the 4,000 footers on the New Hampshire 4,000 footer list. And the other mountain we're gonna climb tomorrow is Mount Cabot. Another 4,000 footer. What we're doing this time is we've uh, we've grabbed the campsite down below at one of like a drive-up campground type thing. Made a base camp of sorts, and uh, that way we can carry just cameras and water and some snacks up to the summit and uh, hike out tonight and camp out, and have some fun. But yeah. I'll show you some views at the summit when we get up there. All right, it's uh, early October. The colors are unbelievable. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> it, it is now. <laughs> look at that gray jay. Hey, JJ, look at a gray jay. <laughs> So here we are, we just made the, uh, what seems to be the summit of Star King Mountain on the way to Wombach. Look at this old fire. Must have been a shelter of some sort here, obviously. Remnants. Looks like it's been used recently. Yeah, it does. Probably functional, right? Uh, cool. Yeah, we blasted up here. Huh? Yeah, fairly quick, yeah. Doesn't look like we're gonna have an opening to the sunset from this. One. No. Sunsetting that way. Look at that. Very nice. So we got roughly a mile to go to get to Wombach Summit from here. So we're not gonna stay too long here, are we? What do no, you got there? Think, huh? Chocolate chip. Mmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, see ya. Yeah, this is gorgeous, man. Look at the color on those hills. They all right. So yeah, this is the summit of Wombach. There's a summit Karn. Yahoo, another 4,000 footer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no views. Sorry though. We're gonna head back and uh, check out the views back on uh, Star King Mountain. It's awesome. All right. So yeah, this is the summit of Wombach. There's a summit Karn. Yahoo, another 4,000 footer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no views. Sorry though. We're gonna head back and uh, check out the views back on uh, Star King Mountain. It's awesome. All right. All right, there we go, Wombach in the books. It's uh, 20 after five, so we made pretty good time. There's only a couple cars here. Four hours, 35 minutes. Four hours, 35 minutes. Nice job, man. So now we'll get back to our, uh, our base camp before dark, which is cool. Yeah. 
See you in a bit. We just stopped on this section of highway or a road heading back to our base camp. Just had to get a panorama, it's beautiful scenery. We're in this big meadow up here in the whites. Hopefully the color will come through nice. Just amazing. Big field, the moon up there, I don't know if you can see the moon. The beautiful presidentials. There's Mount Washington way over there. Nice cattle. JJ, I'm assuming that's Adams to the left. Um, no, I think we were even getting Madison. So we're looking at Jefferson, Adams, that's Madison. Madison, Adams, Jefferson. Madison to the left. Yep. Way left. Yep. And then Adams, Adams. in the middle, Jefferson. Mm hmm. And then Washington. Yes, what a view. Unreal. It really I've is. never. I, we didn't see this on the way up, that's for sure. I think it was cloudier, maybe. Look at that moon. Oh, you're right. It was probably all shrouded in clouds. I think it was, yeah. And yeah. then that's what we just climbed. Yeah. That's probably Wombat up there, right? Yeah, that's Wombat. Uh huh? And then probably that close peak was... That one up there? Star King, I don't know. Or maybe the tall one's Star King and then Wombex again on the other side. Mm-hmm. Very cool, very cool. All right. So here's our setup. Using the hammock this time, obviously. These trees are really far apart, but they're the only two I could find here. It's awesome though. Got the, the war bonnet, the hammock here under quilt, over quilt, big man, man pajama tarp. Yeah. And here's the other side. <laughs> here's where we really are. This is where we really are. We found a couple or a, a tent site or two out in the back of this RV park, but you know what? We're going to make the best of it. Here's JJ's tent. Truck, obviously. We got one of these easy ups. <laughs> Yeah, this is like luxury camping for us. It's gonna be great. Chairs, big old fire pit <coughs> in the Israel, was it the Israel River? <laughs> yeah, the Israel River. It's actually kind of pretty. Big old moon up there. It's gonna be bright later. Yeah. <coughs> It's gonna be great. Undo this so it looks fly back for a while. The tarp. Phoenix with an overstuff and the uh, the uh, burrow, 20 degree burrow, foot pad, yeah, it's going to be great. I haven't been in a hammock in over a year. All right, be back in a few minutes. Ripper. It's perfect. Look at that moon. We'll get a better shot at this later when it's like directly overhead. There's a street light over there in the park. But you can see it hopefully up there. 
It's awesome. Good morning, folks. It's uh, Monday morning. <clears throat> it's around 8 o'clock. We both started stirring around 6.37. So we, JJ made some uh, drip coffee, some Melita coffee on our second cup now. He's going to cook some breakfast. I slept pretty good in the hammock as usual. Again, it's been over a year since I've been in this thing. But yeah, it was good. Um, what I'm going to do tonight, just to make a uh, apples to apples comparison, is JJ slept in this three-man Velux, and he also brought his hubba, his single-man hubba tent. So I think what I'm going to do tonight is to set up his hubba there, and I, I happen to bring my... Uh, Big Agnes Air Core mattress in case JJ wanted to use it, but he's not using it. So I might sleep in his tent on my pad tonight and see how good I sleep and just compare the two options, you know, cons on consecutive nights, which I've never really done. So that's cool. It's good to have options. So I'll be doing that tonight, I think, when we get back. Today we're going to, uh, we're going to, we got to drive, I think it's like 11, 12 miles to a trailhead to climb Cabot Mountain. And uh, then we'll drive back here and and uh, camp again, base camp here. Again, this isn't the prettiest location with all these RVs. <laughs> it's so not what we usually do, but you know what? We had a blast last night, and we're having fun today. So it's awesome. It's still outside, right? Again, we're up in the whites, um, climbing. We climbed Wombeck yesterday, Mount Wombeck, a 4,000 footer, and today, Mount Cabot. So, it's awesome. It got down below freezing last night. It's pretty nippy still, pretty chilly. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll be back to you in a little while. Mm, that smells good. <laughs> what do you got going on here? Oh man, we got Look some leftover that. tater tots, a bunch of eggs, bacon, and a lot of cheddar. Oh, Jesus. Warm it up. Yeah, it's better than oatmeal, right? It is. When you can get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is stove you cooked on last night as well, obviously. Yep. Yep. The Coleman propane, two burner. It's awesome. Works out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah, this is a luxury camping for me, I tell you. <laughs> you as well, huh? Yeah, this is best. <laughs> and what, what's this, maple syrup here? Uh, yep, a little maple syrup just in case. It's kind of thin. Well, we didn't get the A grade. <laughs> That's great. All right. Look at that. That thing might explode. Holy ignite. cow. So those coals are hotter than we thought. Yeah. We had a raging fire last night. I think I got that on video. And this bed of coals and there's some semi damp paper towels starting yeah. to get on fire there. Wow. Some eggshells. Obviously, it's still pretty hot down there. Interesting. All right, we're gonna eat breakfast. I bet that bacon one would go. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat up and then head out. Mm-hmm. Mount Cabot today. Mount Cabot, yeah. That's appropriate. We, we're eating Cabot, Cabot cheddar. Cabot cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cheddar.
So here we are at the junction of Kilkenny Ridge Trail and Mount Cabot Trail, or actually Mount Cabot's that way, and that's where we're headed on the Bernal Notch Trail. So let's hit the road, man. How are you feeling today? Very well on yourself. Beautiful, thanks, sir. Absolutely stunning day. Getting another late start. Yeah, another late start. Not as late as yesterday, but it's kind of good though, not busting out of camp early. Kind of chilling. All right. Beautiful, crisp, early October. Hiking up to Cabot Mountain. Haven't even started going upward yet, really. Just awesome. Oop. Another brook here. This, huh? Beautiful, right? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, dude. <laughs> there goes Craig. <laughs> oh, you're doing video? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. So we're heading back on the uh, Bernal Notch Trail, I believe. The one that we're going to take up to um, uh, um, um, Cabot Mountain. Well, we realized, well actually due to some pretty pretty awful planning by JJ, we uh, it's, it's not happening, we don't have the daylight. There's a gate that we parked within, down by the parking area that closes at four. And uh, I tried, not gonna be back by four. I, I tried telling him he just wouldn't listen. Well, I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> it's all good, just busting. Um, but anyway, yeah, we are heading out because we don't have time, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna go check out a lake a little north of here off of Route 2, I believe, right? Yep, and then we're doing this again tomorrow. And then we'll be back here bright and early, earlier starting today to knock off Cabot another day. But still great being out here, man, having a blast. I think this is called South Pond, or up here north of where we were hiking this morning. I think this is called South Pond. It's beautiful. We're gonna spend the rest of today hiking around it, up around it. There's some uh, sightseeing to be done here for sure. Just beautiful. Look at this beachy area, man. It's kind of weird to see in New Hampshire. Awesome. Very nice. So we just walked up into this, uh, I guess a canyon type thing. Just beautiful. All of a sudden, I get devil's hop yard, I guess. Right, right, the devil's hop yard. We're getting there. That's a look. I think it's. Is it a lookout or a? A viewpoint? Well, we made it look on the map, but you would think a devil's hop yard would be more like rock piles like this. Right, this All is... All the other ones I've known have been more like canyons. This is cool. Like JJ said, we stepped up in here a few minutes ago and instantly the air was cooler and damper. It's awesome. Doesn't get much sun, that's for sure. Yeah, right? 
Hollow's call is Joe's neon right there. Yeah. This is awesome. Mm, I mean, I probably not. The theory of it would be good, but yeah. So yeah, look at this chasm, man. We're deeper up. Not that well. <laughs> Further up the chasm, it didn't sound good either. So yeah, it's uh, what time you got, JJ? Three twenty. Three twenty, and it's considerably darker in this cavity here. Um, we're going up, up, up. Awesome. So I'll get back to you in a minute. Uh, back to you, Mitch. I'm Mitch Ryder for WTI News, signing off. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. Yeah, you can feel it coming off the rocks, the cool air for sure, right? Okay. Look at that, looks like pink uh, New Hampshire granite, man. Day. That's we, pretty... we bail on cabin and end up sleeping in the truck anyway. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Look at this, man. Wow. Seriously. Whoa. What's up, hole? Yeah, I just put my uh, hole in there. All right. Look at this. Yeah, I need two hands, folks. I'll see you in a minute. Bones. Nice place to take a break, JJ. Sure is. Under this granite overhang, looking out over that beautiful. Taking our chances. Yeah. Having a nice beverage. You should put it up close and show those all those layers. Yeah, it almost looks like slab of granite. Slabs of granite cut right Just there. ready to come down. I know. So cool. It's so, literally so cool here. It's freezing. That might be an exaggeration, but close. Definitely much cooler than every other place we've been today. Yeah. The sun reaching the tops of those trees over there. Nice. Couldn't draw it up any better. Could have brought an all day IPA instead of a Heineken. So we just took that hike up to, uh, I don't really see the name of the trail now, I can't remember. But anyway. It took What, the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Water. yeah. No, it's nicely up on that hill though now. Just beautiful. It's just weird having this beach like this in New Hampshire. I know. That was like seven minutes. <laughs> this is South Pond, correct? Yes. Nice. So, JJ's going to go for a swim. Let's see, the air temperature is what, 55, 60? Something. Maybe warmer, right? I don't have the cojones to do it, um, so I'm going to not do it. <laughs> Which is the 
Natural progression. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. Don't do it. All right. Hello. <laughs> Listen to that echo, man. Hello. Yeah, JJ's out doing his crazy thing. <laughs> he is crazy. He had to go out there to get to above his waist. <laughs> Look at he's at waist high and it's like 50 yards away. Just awesome. Feel good? Oh, spectacular. Yeah. Wow. Is that like Peel Lake or colder? It's like a brain freeze from the outside in. <laughs> awesome. Hey, is it colder than Peel Lake? No. No, I wouldn't imagine. No. I can't see it from here. I know. Hold on, I'll walk out. <laughs> Not. Wow, this is great. There's deer tracks on the beach it's here. I can hang out in this. It's warmer than the air? Warmer than Peeler Lake. Oh. Deer oh, tracks. A couple, years, a couple days ago, probably. When you put your chest in, it does take your breath away. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. You're making me feel guilty now. Oh. Oh. Hey. That echo is awesome. Wow, that's cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow, Craig, man. That was killer. You're the man. Oh, my You're the man. Really? It's not like bone chattering cold? You just get burnt. Yeah. But when you do go under, you do lose your breath. <laughs> Look at the top of that uh, hill over there. It's, it's all enshrouded with coniferous trees, the whole cone. It's pretty cool. And I'm Mitch Ryder with WEEPI signing off. More deer tracks. And that was Mitch Ryder signing off. <laughs> All right. We're going to head back to the campsite and uh, continue. Out. Those are some vine birch trees. Those there? Yeah. It's a nice, nice mix of uh, birch, poplar, or aspen, I guess. Beautiful. That, um, what was it called? Devil's what? Hop Lookout? Yard. Hop Yard, yeah. That was a unique little canyon up in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. All right, we're done. We're done here. I'm going to get some clothes on. <laughs> Mitch is going to get some clothes on. I'm Mitch Ryder with WEPI and Radio News. Signing off. <laughs> I don't understand. All right. Why, you uncomfortable? <laughs> you can do it without it? Is that how you going to do that?
Yeah, I don't know. It's not <laughs> working out great so far. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. So we just got back to our base camp. <clears throat> and we're going to get a fire going and prep some food for a good meal. What's it like, 10 degrees out maybe? I'm giving it seven at best. <laughs> Very uncomfortable right. up here in northern uh, New Hampshire in early October. It's brutal. Conditions are trying it fast. <laughs> no, honestly, it's like 60 degrees. It's pretty nice. Maybe 55. The conditions are rugged. They're rugged, yeah. Munching on some pepperoni and cheddar cheese. And it's kind of a baguette type thing. It's like a baguette, only softer, so it's not really a baguette. It's good, though. A ah, day old. Yeah. That was quite a bargain. Look at this humongous piece of bread for 65 cents. It's good, though. We got it at the local market uh, down the road a ways. Love the business, I'm sure. Yeah, so we're going to dice up some of these potatoes, either bake a couple or dice them up. We got some nice, uh, I forgot what cut this beef is. Um, got top, uh, eye, round. eye round, yeah. Got four of these bad boys. Mmm. Gonna grill those up on this grill over here, and hopefully, no, nice job. Hopefully, nobody's urinated on that grill. Other than Craig. It's always, it's always better when that hadn't happened yet. Now nah, we'll burn it off, man. Scrub it off with some foil. We're good. So here it is tonight. I'm going to use the hubba, uh, JJ's hubba, MSR hubba. And um, I mentioned earlier, I had brought my inflatable pad in case JJ wanted to use it. But as it turned out, he's not. So I'm going to use it tonight, having just slept in the hammock last night, and uh, do like an apples to apples comparison um, of how I sleep, similar weather conditions. And yeah. I don't know. That pad might make all the difference. I really have enjoyed it in the last year, but I do like the hammock as well, so whatever. You know, I'll just adapt to whatever. Another moon up there. Same moon, just different night. <laughs> Can't really see the colors now with the sun gone, but man, is that nice. Beautiful orange. <clears throat> this Founders All Day IPA is just absolutely perfect. Just delicious. Go. We're live. We got all kinds of stuff on here. Looks great, man. Onions, bell pepper, potatoes, zucchini. Perfect. Butter. It's nearly frozen, huh? That's gonna be good, my friend. It's like the ultimate foil packet. It's huge. Fire's ripping with this breeze, getting a good bed of coals going. Mm-hmm. 
you save just a hair just to Yeah. Be... Great job, man. Gotta feed the fire somehow. Yeah, you do. Check that out. Got some JJ's got some garlic bread going there. Some nice pieces of beef and some um, that veggie packet we showed you earlier with the potatoes, peppers, onions, um, what else in there? Oh, zucchini. Oh yeah, zooks. Yeah, the zooks. That's good eats, folks. Good eats, folks. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just had beer and scotch. <laughs> yeah, I know. All we have is that maple syrup stuff. It's tough. Yeah. Great D. Yeah. All right. It's too hot, dude. Anyway, no, just I was not quite ready. <laughs> That's good stuff, right there, folks. Mm -hmm. there it is. Nice job. All right, so here's that veggie, veggie pouch that we did. Oh man, can you see that? Everything's uh. Everything came out perfect. Toast the bread. Toast the bread. Zucchini, potatoes, onions, spices, red pepper. Yeah, good stuff. Don't forget about those steaks. Oh yeah. Look at those bad boys. Mm-hmm. Some garlic bread crisping up on the grill. Yeah. Good eats. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice moon again. Good morning. Second night in the MSR Hubba, or actually the first night. The first night was in the hammock. Last night was in the Hubba, sleeping on the air pad. You know, having thought about it for a while, from a scale of one to ten, <clears throat> I'd have to give the hammock set up, the war bonnet, out of not warmth or anything, just sheer comfort. Mm -hmm. Probably an eight, eight, nine. And I'm thinking the tent, and again, that, that pad I keep bragging about. But it is comfy, man. I'd have to give it an eight. Probably a nine, ten, man. I think it's a winner. But that was a good test, though, you know, consecutive nights. Yeah, head to head, trying the hammock out, which I still love. I'm not getting rid of it, thing. I love that thing.